Hey dudes, welcome to this week's video! This week, I'm going to go over the staples for your activewear wardrobe. I'm going to go over crop tops, shorts, warm-up slash cover-up gear. These are the questions I get asked all the time and I consider myself an activewear connoisseur because I buy so much. Is that a good thing? For this video it is because you're going to get a really truthful, informative background. So let's get straight on into it. All right, before we start getting into the video, I got an LSKD package in the mail today and I haven't opened it. If you know me, you know that I usually open things as soon as I get um, it delivered to the door. But look, LSKD, it is here. We're gonna open it. We're gonna, I'm gonna open it on camera right now so you can see it. Oh, satisfying. I'm gonna open it from least excited to most excited. So this is um, part of their new collection Alpine, I think it's called. It's mainly like warm-ups. Um, it's not really like actually active wear. But the first piece I got was this beautiful like fluffy, as you can see, the like texture is like fluffy. Um, it's got a little LSKD thing. It's got two pockets in the front. Um, and then I think it's got pockets here too. Oh yeah, it does, pockets in the front. It's also got a zip down the middle, the whole way around, um, because sometimes I really find that convenient. And the inside is kind of a little bit more low key than the outside, so it's, it's still fluffy, um, but not as intense. So let's try this on. Oh, this fits so nicely. Because this is unisex, I've got a size medium. Um, so if you're looking to get this jumper, just note I got a size medium so it fits oversized. I'm so comfy, I'm so warm already. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm so warm. I'm really warm. These next two items I'm so excited for. It's like a set and I'm gonna scream. It's literally perfect. Okay, all right, okay. I'm screaming. Um, this is like perfect. This is too much. This is amazing. Okay, so all those three things I would definitely recommend for like going into winter. Um, LSKD as a general for like warm ups and like cover ups for training are really good. But now we're going to get into the video. We're going to talk about my favorite pieces of activewear. I'm going to go over like five different um, shorts, like types of shorts. Um, and five different crop tops. So I'm gonna list the brand, the style, the size I wear. This will be like your one stop shop. If you wanna get the best pieces for your activewear closet, you gotta watch the rest of this video. You gotta keep in tune. Today we're only going over shorts and crop tops um, because that's all I wear. I don't really wear tights um, unless I'm coaching, but I don't really care about tights, so we're, go we're only going over shorts and crop tops today and what I'd recommend for those. Let's get on into it. First, we're going to do crop tops. Um, so I've picked five of my top brands. Basically, I'll go in order from like most recommended um, to just like normal recommended um, just because I want to have like an order. Basically, the first brand is Crop Shop boutique with this brand there's a lot of different crop tops but i'm gonna simplify it for you um so for all the other styles i'm gonna give you an actual actual brand and an actual style but for this one i'm just gonna blankly say crop top boutique anything with a twist front okay so this twisty front here um you'll see that it just actually covers now it looks like that it's not gonna cover when you look at it like this but my boobs have never felt so supported and held in their life. We've got three styles that I love in the twist front. Um, this one is the Sierra, and as you can see, the back is quite thick. 
um, like, as in the straps are thick um, and they cross over in the middle of the back. So this is probably the most supportive out of the three twist styles I'm going to show you today. And then my second twisty is the Ava or the Eva. It's EVA, <laughs> whatever, Eva crop. Um, and this one is basically the exact same. So twist at the front and then at the back, instead of the thick straps, it's actually got some um, little thinner straps and there's two um, on each side and they just cross over each other in the mid back. Um, this is a great one. And my last twisty one of the day is the Blake halter neck. So as you can see, this is still twisty at the front. So I'll just show you a demonstration. It twists at the front just like that um, and it is twisted, you're, you're supported and then it's just got one band at the back. So you've got one band on your neck, one band on the back, completely backless. This is super flattering. This would be like one of my top worn sports bras um, because it is comfy, you're held in, it is flattering at the front and you get a backless back like it's just not so you're gonna you're gonna love it this is a top top one any fabric i would recommend because crop shop boutique has lots of different fabrics they have like fade serenity um i don't know any others but but they have lots of different materials and i would recommend any of these style crop tops in any of the fabrics because they pretty much sit um, the same. Okay, moving on to number two, um, this one isn't really that popular, but I love it. And I recommend this for people with all different sides of boobies. Next, we've got a Gymshark. Um, this is the V-neck sports bra. So it looks like this. It is one of the most flattering crop tops I own and it sits well. The straps are thin at the top. As you can see, um, it, the V is super, super flattering at the, um, at the front and it just sits exactly where I need it to sit. These straps aren't too far in, they aren't too far out. They just sit in the right spot and then the back is quite minimal. So as you can see, um, they've just got a full strap in the middle and then just a band to cross over at the back. So this is it in like the orange color. I'm not really sure of the specific names. Um, and then this is it in like an ice blue color. Again, quite a bit of support. So if you've got um, a little bit more booby than me, then you are probably gonna love these. Okay, number three, no surprise. We've got the minimal sports bra from Gymshark. So you, you guys will know this. You guys will know this one and you probably own it. Um, if you've got littler boobies, I would definitely recommend these minimal sports bras. So they have options for straps. As you can see, we've got um, some of the, the little hooks there and you can just hook it onto the back. So you've got lots of different options for the strapping at the back. Um, but I don't have it on there because I never wear them with the straps. What I do is I just put it around my neck and I just do a little knot like this. So I just get my fingers and I just do a little knot like that at the back of my neck. Um, and then that just makes the strap shorter. This is a completely backless um, crop top if you choose to not have the extra straps on the back. And the front is just so flattering. And then this is like an olive color that I wear quite a lot too. Number four on my list is another Gymshark. I know. Um, they've just got really good crop tops. Love their crop tops. So this one is the Bando sports bra. So as you can see, I've got a white one here. Um, this just sits directly across. Basically, it looks like a um, no strap, like just a just a full bandeau, but this one has little straps um, that is connected with it and they are adjustable at the back. Um, it's basically just a full wrap around band, same, same width throughout the whole way. Um, it just has a little Gymshark sign there. This is it in purple, it's just got a different sign at the front, but it's still the Bando sports bra. Um, and it just, it basically just cuts off here, leaving all of this on your upper body open. So it makes the shoulders look really good. It makes the arms look really good because there's nothing distracting up here. So it just sits right here. The straps are there and then it just flatters your upper body so, so well. Then last but not least, we have a different brand from what I've just said. We've got Lululemon. I know this brand is a little bit um, more on the expensive side, but so is everything these days, to be honest. Um, so what we have here is we've got the Flow Y bra. Um, it looks like this, completely 
almost like the v-neck one I showed from Gymshark but it's just a little bit different of a front so here we've just got kind of more rounded neck um, and super super thin straps so they just go on the shoulders um, these are really really nice and then the back is what gets me because it's super minimal which I we love a minimal back so the back is just like um, the straps are connected by the middle. They just go full straight line down the back. It looks like that. Um, I have maybe about four colors in these and I wear a size four. I think the sizing is that you, um, minus four from your Australian size. I probably wouldn't recommend these for bigger busts. They don't hold too well, but they're super flattering. So if you've got smaller chests, um, then I would recommend these ones. Okay, so they're my top rated crop tops. They're the top rated ones. Um, now let's get on to shorts. I'm doing a lot of talking right now, but I feel like I'm thriving. I'm absolutely thriving talking about activewear. Let's go into the part that I feel like everyone wants to know about, shorts. Shorts are really hard to come by good shorts. Um, I feel like a lot of people struggle with getting a good active wear short. So let's get straight into it. Number one is Alphalete. These are the Alphalete amplifiers. These Alphalete shorts, you've probably seen the style. It's got like this kind of thicker scrunch bum. It's quite minimal. Um, as you can see, the Alphalete is like printed into the back, the front, no seam, a pretty good leg length. Now with these ones, I have gotten the 4.5 inch. So that means that it's like 4.5 4 inches um, from the crutch, I believe. Is that what it means? I don't know. Alphalete also sell um, a 6.5 or maybe a 6 inch. Um, don't, don't hold me to that. I'm pretty sure it's 6.5 or a 6 inch. Um, and they're just a little bit of a longer short, but I like a little bit more shorter um, just because I believe it is flattering just more on my glutes. I wear, I wear either an extra small and a small in these. I have both, but I feel like I'm a little bit more comfortable in the small. Now, I have put these ones first in the list, but one, they're only based in America. Two, they are super expensive. And then add on shipping with that to Australia. I got some dupes from um, AliExpress. Now, these are what they look like. Basically, same same scrunch bum. Um, and just no alpha lead on the back. Um, they are pretty much the exact same like material vibe. I would say these ones are a little bit more compressive, whereas these are a little bit more looser on my leg and they're pretty cheap too. I'm pretty sure they're like $20. So these are it again. You can see the scrunch bum, super flattering. Like it's got like some shading, um, here and just around. So if you don't want to get the alpha elite, um, then I would recommend looking at AliExpress or um, somewhere like that and just getting some duplicates. The next one, our second one, is Gymshark Camo Shorts. Now, they look like this. This is the newer style, by the way. The new style of camo is a little bit longer in the leg. Look how long that is, quite long. But if you roll it up a little bit, it sits really nicely under the glutes. But this material, as you can see, is just super nice. Like it has a really nice stretch to it, but it's also compressive at the same time. If you can get your hands on an older style of camo, which are these ones, I would. I would get them right away. These are the most flattering shorts ever. They sit really nice on the leg. They've got a little scrunch on the side of the leg, as you can see, like on the side, just like at the bottom of your hip. The material is a little bit more forgiving than these new ones. This one is a little bit more compressive, as you can see. Um, but with these ones, these are really, really stretchy. So you can get um, a size probably smaller than what you're used to, and these will fit really nicely. So these are the old school ones and these are the new school ones. Um, but I would recommend any of the camo um, Gymshark. If you can get your hand on some old school ones, I would. Um, if you can't, then the new ones are just as good. Number three. Now these ones are Crop Shop Boutique, um, but these ones are in the fade fabric. So this fade fabric is probably the softest thing I have ever felt in my life. And I have felt Lululemon. If you know, you know. But 
this material is butter, like buttery soft. I'm telling you, butter soft. These ones are the scrunch bum, and these ones are not. These ones are just a normal glute, um, no scrunch at the back. But um, these are both the fade materials. These are the four inch shorts. Um, I solely wear four inch from Crop Shop. I have some two inch shorts. Um, and I find that I'm always just pulling my shorts down because they ride up quite a bit, especially if you've got um, some sort of glute. Um, I would also recommend the six inch length of shorts. Next, we've got a very similar material. Um, these ones are the Lululemon, what's the name? A line high rise shorts. Um, I wear them in the six inch because that's the shortest they go to. This is in their navy kind of color. Um, and then I've got like a, a tie dye purple and gray pair here, just so you can see. This material is also buttery soft. It's very similar to the um, Crop Shop Fade material, um, but it's just a little bit more compressive, I would say. The Fade material isn't really that compressive, but the Lululemon ones are a little bit more compressive on the leg, so they um, sit a little bit more nice. These, these are the six inch ones, um, but you can get eight inch in them. Last on the list, we've got Gymshark Vital Seamless 2.0. You guys know about these shorts. Everyone knows about these shorts. If you don't have these already, then you should get them. The waist on them is tight, so you are sucked in, but the material on like the booty is quite thin. They're not see-through, but it's quite thin, so you can kind of just like, it just accentuates the booty and holds the waist in so nicely. This is the pink shorts. I love this color. Um, and then I'm also just showing them in brown. Uh, make sure you get the Vital Seamless 2.0 because the Vital Seamless, the original ones, they were actually quite baggy around the crotch area and it makes it look like there's room for um, different parts other than woman parts. And they've got some really nice like um, dot patterning just around the glute. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, there's just some like pattern that accentuates the glutes um, just on the back there. And these come in basically every color you can think of. So um, if you're not keen on either of these colors, they've got every single color on the planet and I've got about maybe about eight colors in these. They're pretty comfy and they're just a, a lovely go-to short. That concludes all of my recommendations for shorts and crop tops. Now, just keep in mind that the reason I have so many and the reason that I've trialed and, and kind of gone through so many different pairs is because it is my job and it is my hobby. I'm basically in active wear um, 24 hours a day other than sleeping. I am really blessed to be able to kind of spend that money on myself and trial all these different things. But now I'm putting all that money and expertise into a video where you can benefit from it. So I hope you found some new favorites in this video. And um, if you did, let me know. Um, you can ask me about sizing too. I'm basically a size small in all of these. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next video. See you next Wednesday. Ooh.